What's up, travelers? Today we are going to take another Madrid day trip and we are going to Barrancas de Castrejon y Calaña in Budejon, Toledo. This is a super duper amazing hidden gem that not many people know about. There's actually not even lots of tourist experience yet, so definitely consider yourself in luck to know about this. As your epic Spain travel guide, let me tell you everything you need to know about visiting La Barrancas de Castrejon. Transportation to getting to the Barrancas, I recommend driving as it's about an hour and 15 minutes away from Madrid City. You can also take the train to Toledo, but then you'll also have to figure out how you're going to get to the Barrancas. If I was going to take this route, I would personally take the train and then either get a cab or other car service available such as Cabify or Freenow Taxi. Also look into Blah Blah Car to see if they have rides available to drive to the Barrancas, parking is available and it costs five euros. You can also pay with credit card because they have the credit card machine. Once you're done parking, you'll see the hiking trail right away. And this is a hiking trail that will lead you to the Mirador or Lookout in English. It's a pretty walk as there's lots of olive trees around. So definitely stay tuned for the vegetation in the area. Walk to the Mirador is about 15 minutes and you'll see olive trees all along the way. Now let's start our hike. Prepare to be captivated as we delve into one of Spain's most dazzling landscapes. Beauty lies in its unexpected and surprisingly cinematic charm resembling a scene from a faraway land. Las Barrancas are nestled in the municipalities of Alba Real de Tajo, Burujón, and La Puebla del Montalban. And while we continue our hike to Las Barrancas, I would like to talk about the flora that you would see here. We have two different types of vegetation that grow in this area. It's riparian vegetation and Mediterranean vegetation. Within the riparian vegetation, you'll see different kinds of plants such as cattails, blackberries, willows, or tamarisk. And as for the Mediterranean vegetation, you'll see plants including thyme, rosemary, almond trees, broom, ephyrida, and juniper. So many herbs and plants all over this area. So if you're into that, make sure you check that out. And if you would like, I invite you to embark on a four kilometer ecological pathway adorned with several breathtaking viewpoints. At Las Barrancas, easily gaze in awe at the magnificent cliffs, observe the vibrant flora and witness the diverse fauna in their natural habitat. You'll easily find some furry friends such as rabbits, hares, and partridges that roam freely in the Barrancas, while the skies above are graced by many different kinds of birds such as ducks, storks, herons, martinets, and cormorants. Mediterranean forest surrounding the area acts as a sanctuary for numerous threatening bird species, including the peregrine falcon, Iberian and Par Aerial Eagle, Bonelli's Eagle, Marsh Harrier, Eagle Owl, Owl Common, Common Kestrel, and the Black Vulture. Now I present to you the Barrancas de Castrejon y Calaña. Spectacular clay cuts carved by the winds and waters of the Tagus over millions of years will leave you breathless. The Barrancas stretch over a kilometer in length and ascend to over a hundred meters in height. Its highest peak is known as the Pico del Cambrón. The reddish clay gullies offer a majestic sight to behold. There are many different miradores at La Barrancas and I encourage you to see each one because each one has a different view. Access to La Barrancas is free. Remember, if you bring your car, you do have to pay five euros for the parking. And here's another pro tip. If you happen to be visiting Las Barrancas when it's not busy, you can actually drive up to the viewpoint versus hiking up there. So that's definitely a personal choice. But if there are a lot of people, you won't be able to drive your car. So definitely keep that in mind when you're planning your trip to Las Barrancas. Easily make Las Barrancas de Castrejon your next Madrid day trip. It's only an hour and 15 minutes away, so why not? If you do decide to take this Madrid day trip to Las Barrancas, I encourage you to do some activity such as hiking in Las Barrancas and then go eat and dine in somewhere in Toledo, the city. And also prevent confusion. If you put in the name of these Barrancas, it will come up in Google Maps as Barrancas de Burujon. So just keep that in mind. It is the same place. I did just want to state that in case it causes some confusion. And also feel free if you have any questions to let me know in the comments. And that's all I have for you today, travelers. Make sure you subscribe for more content like this. And remember, this is only an hour and 15 minutes away from Madrid. So this is easily your next best Madrid day trip. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Ciao!